This is an elbow that you'll find off the shelf at Lowe's, Home Depot, different places like that. It's made for electrical conduit, which if you don't know, we like to build with here at Maker Pipe, and so does our community. And this is an elbow, and people often ask us, why don't you guys make an elbow like this? And this basically is one that is used by electricians, just like the fittings and different things you can get off the shelf. It's made so you can put pieces of EMT conduit inside of it, and then you just screw down the set screw to secure that conduit in place. And you do that on both, and you make a 90 degree corner elbow. And we actually do make one uh, with EMT conduit. You just don't really see it because it's kind of uh, a use case for a connector that's used in another common way. This is the Maker Pipe T connector. It's just two pieces that clamp around, and I have it kind of assembled here already. But normally you'll see it in this orientation where it's grabbing onto a piece of conduit, and the top half runs continuously through it, and then the bottom half terminates inside of it. And it's just a clamp-based connector like all of our fittings. And you can actually use this to make an elbow. You just want to put it on the very end of a piece of conduit, and then I've added an end cap here, which works nice if you're outside and you want to keep stuff from getting inside. But essentially, you can make a 90 degree elbow in the same way that you would use this one. It's just slightly different because this allows you to have even pieces of conduit coming out of it, and this is just slightly offset because of the clamp style and the friction-based connection. That's really the only difference, and this is gonna be much stronger of a solution because we designed these for building with the MT conduit, but if you do end up needing and wanting to use the elbow that you get off the shelf, I would just recommend that you take the set screws completely out because you can back them out pretty easily. Just take them completely off. And then I would just replace that with a self-drilling screw. And the ones we have on the website, I believe, believe they're half inch. Uh, they just go, they fit perfectly in that hole and then you can drill them into the conduit and that just adds more security. Um, but you can do that if you still want to, but we actually do make a, an elbow, most people just don't realize, it's the T-connector, just use flush with the end like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this and found this useful. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.